Hi Leos, it's Leonora. Welcome to Soul Searching Tarot. Thank you for stopping by. I appreciate each and every one of you. Um, thank you for giving me so much love. Um, you know, I, I try to read all the stories that you share with me. As a matter of fact, I do read all the stories that you share with me. And um, I just wanted to give you a shout out for representing me in your last read or cross watchers. Um, yeah, I I, um, I try to respond to as many as possible, but, you know, I just want to definitely um, put that out there. Um, Leos, today I'm going to do your Q&A love reads, okay? Um, your Q&A love reads is something that I do while you wait for your general tarot card reads, okay? Which, they're all out, okay? So if you're looking for your general tarot card reads, it's there. I did all 12 zodiac signs, all right? Okay. In these Q&As, I ask four specific questions. One, how are they feeling about you? Two, what's blocking them from a union or a commitment? Three, if they could write a love letter, what would it say? Four, are they in another relationship? Now, if that question was already answered, in the first three questions, I'll ask, I'll ask how would they feel if you and them were together? All right. Okay. Let's get started. All right. So number one, how are they feeling about you? All right. I do invite my cross watchers in these Q and A's. Um, but just give me a moment to read the energy. I will show you the cards. Um, if I need to, but I, I, I try not to do that so much for the sake of time. Uh, so how are they feeling about you? Um, somebody wants to start anew and they're not going to hold their tongue about it because they love you. Um, I, I, at the very least, they, they really like you a lot. Um, yeah, this person already made their decision of not waiting any longer. Um, it seems like um, something was holding it, holding them back in the past, um, or the immediate past. Yeah. Um, I don't know if you were in a third party energy with someone. Um, I feel like this person, I don't know if you know this person, you may or may not. There's a person here that... that likes you a lot okay all right we got that settled there's a person here that wants to contact you okay we got that settled they were in a relationship if they're not if they're not um in a relationship they're about to leave a relationship really soon like really soon um i i wouldn't be i wouldn't be surprised if they just if they did like that's it it's over um yeah they don't want to lie to you so yeah they, they they search for you they search for you i don't know they do it in some shape form or other uh yeah this person this person i don't know there's something about this person all right i hope you got that because i i need to um go to the next question and see what, what else is going on all right um number two what's blocking them from a union or a commitment So what's blocking them from a union or a commitment? Um, it looks like finance at the moment. It looks like their, their, their priority right now is finance. It looks like they're trying to start something new as a career or a business venture. Um, and this is stressing them out at the moment. All right. So that's kind of what's stopping them. 
Um, what the fuck? Um, I don't know, Leos. I, I keep getting this, um, this weird energy. I got it in the first question. I'm getting it again in the second question. Um, and I'll show you what's going on. Um, all right, my first question, how, how are they feeling about you? It, this was kind of like I was trying to clarify the three of cups in the reverse, but I mean, that was pretty, that was, you know, I understood that one. Seven of uh, swords. Um, you know, when I see seven of swords, I just see it with the devil because it came out with the devil. Um, I just see very creepish behavior and and um, the devil, seven of swords. I don't know. I don't know if you see like this person walking through the corridor. Um, almost in search of you or they have been searching for you. I don't know why since this person has been searching for you even in your past life. That's so weird. It's like I'm sure when this person saw you for the first time, so obviously you know this person. Um, I just don't know if you if you know who I'm talking about. But um when they saw you for the first time, um, they've been searching for you. Maybe even they don't even know themselves why. Um, they could have been in a commitment, committed relationship, and they're like still after you, and they're trying to figure out why. Um, in the meantime, this person may have Pisces in their chart. Um, I don't know why, since Pisces, but it doesn't have to be. With my Seven of Cups, um, there's a lot going on in your mind. Um, it's like one, obsession, jealousy, stalkish, um, possessiveness. Should I call? Should I grab them? I, and I mean, I mean, grab them. I'm, you know, passionately. Like they have these thoughts that run through their head again. Before my my devil, it's it's. What, I, you get the point. It's just that that's like my question mark right there. Um, and again, so I see it with my um, second question, and, and I'm just seeing, I'm giving you the cards because I don't want you to think like, uh, does she know how to read cards? I'm confused, okay? This person is confusing me. So then I see three of swords in my second question, okay, in the reverse. Okay, okay, I got you. I, I saw what you were doing before. You're busy with your life. Um, and I see page of swords with it. Um, I don't know, this, there's something about this person that they hide, um, you know, I mean, mind you, yes, with the swords, you'll see a, a depiction of the swords anyway, right? But, um, I don't know, I see the three of swords, it's, it's, it, to me, it's like they already claimed you. I, I'm sorry, you're already claimed. Um, and they don't really want you to go anywhere. Um, and it's not that they're, they're telling you they don't want you to go anywhere. Um, but with my chariot in the reverse, yeah, no, they really don't want you to go anywhere. I don't know if they think you're single. I mean, again, I have to clarify the chariot. Um, yeah, they'll fight for you. Ooh. Yeah, they they want to they want to work on on yeah no sorry they want to work on you and only you, okay they're working on their finance and they're working on you like you with some type of property I, I don't know a contract that needs to be signed all right let's move on to the next question. If they could write a love letter, what would it say? All right, so with these love letters, I do like to make them in love letter formats. Um, so just bear with me um, while I pick up the energy. All right. All 
All right. Okay. All right, Wales. A cross watcher. <sighs> this person's very right tired of something. Um, all right. Are you ready? To whom it may concern. I'm pretty tired of manifesting you in my life. I tried about almost everything to get you, but I've been growing restless. I've been trying to get ideas on how maybe you and I could connect even further than we are. I am holding on to the idea. I will communicate with you, and there's so many words I would like to say to you. You are a blessing trustworthy, dedicated, and funny. I just don't want to compete with anyone else. And currently, I'm trying to lead my life. And um, deal with my agendas. However, I may think of having a family with you. I think that will transform my life. It'll be a purpose, a divine purpose. I hope you forgive me for what I might, might have done in the past to you. It really made me feel bad for quite some time. My head was down, and every time I thought about you, I always thought about if I took a different path, where, where would we be? I know that I would like to be married to you. I don't really want to choose anyone else anyway. So I hope that you choose me. I would love to take you out on a date. Just you and me. I will be dedicated to you. I want to try to help you grow. See your vision, your creativity. And again, I do want to have a child, children with you. Please allow that to happen because I really do love you. I see you as a queen, a king that I want to share everything with. You bring this fire out of me and I, I'm trying my best to control that fire within. The end. All right, this person's very passionate about you. Um, and two things really stood out um, just now um, because my Queen of Wands was um, in the last, um, my last card in the letter. And um, I don't know if you could see, um, there's two sides of my Queen of Wands in the Z tarot. There is a, um, a passionate fire sign, a passionate, you may be dealing with a fire sign, you're a fire sign, Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius, whatever, somebody may have that in their birth chart, doesn't matter, people could get fiery anyway, um, but the other side um, of my Queen of Wands is not, my other side of my Queen of Wands is, is, um, is not burning, okay, so they really are trying to control themselves, um, this came, this card came right before the lovers, all right, they they do they listen I, I did say at the very least they do love you but when i see um the fire even from the devil you know like it's very similar in colors isn't it with the fire and the fire and i and i'm i mean it's pretty cute the love letter is pretty cute um they do hold you in high regards um there's still a little bit something off about them and god i i don't want to be so harsh with this person because i do sense genuine love number one um uh, they do want to unite big time with the hierophant the lovers here okay but they will approach you with um like a knight of cups 
you know so it may start like this you know very slow you know but it's not a page it's a knight they're gonna start out as a knight okay and, and work their way as a king with my hair font okay okay last question are they in another relationship <sighs> are they in another relationship This person is your this person is your soulmate. Um, this person this person sees long term with you. Okay, I don't see that there was someone else at all. And like I said in the beginning, it looks like they just left a relationship. Like they made up their mind and was like, no, um, I feel emotions for someone else. Thank you. Deep emotions, mind you. Um, yeah, this person is your soulmate. And this person, um, this person's not kidding. This person is, is um, when they grab you, they're going to grab you. And okay, I don't mean in bed. Okay, yes, maybe in, in bed. But uh, listen, it's more than just, you know, taking you out on a date, you know, having hot, passionate sex. And I'm sorry, I keep using sex, but you understand Leo's. You get the point. This person is, is uh, your property. They may not say it out loud, but that's what I'm getting. Do you understand? Like once they have you in their grips, you're theirs and only theirs. Now, they may tell you what to do here and there, okay? They want their king and their queen to, you know, respect them, okay? And not that, I'm sure not that you would not, but I mean, I mean, like, if you don't, if you don't obey, Jesus, this person is very, if you don't obey what they want from you. I mean, at first they may say, you know, honey, I, I prefer that you do this instead of this. And if you're like, no, um, like very headstrong about something or someone, um, they'll, this is, this is, this will be their attitude and, and they won't be afraid to show it. Not this time. Mm -mm, not if you, not if you're under their grips. Um, yeah. Uh, uh, mm -mm, mm -mm, yeah. I'm sorry. And I saw it with my five of wands, you know, I already had saw it with my five of wands, you know? Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, they, listen, this person wants a family with you. They're not kidding. They think about it constantly, constantly with my four of wands, constantly, constantly. And they're going to work on it. Okay. All right, Leos. Love you. Bye.